Franchise Kicks. A uh, new video. Today is Monday, February something. I don't know. Yeezy Zebras released two days ago on Saturday, and uh, hype was real on those. Um, I hope you watched my video for those. If not, I will link it up here above somewhere. If you want to check it out, just utter disappointment in missing out on the 350 Zebras. So to get this video started, that if you do have a Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra in a size 13, and you want to move it, I do want a pair. Let's see if we work on a trade first. I'm gonna show you some shoes right quick that I'm willing to give up. All these shoes I'll be showing you are all dead stock, and I will be willing to trade pairs for your Zebras. So here's what we got. Start out with, we've got the OVO 12s. Just picked them up. Those are up for trade. DS Pair, Shattered Backboard 2015s, the original. Shattered Backboard 2016, up for trade. And Black Toe 1s, up for trade. Size 14 Jordan 3 Retro 88s, up for trade. DS Pair, White OVO 10s, size 13, up for trade. My 11s, sorry, but they're off limits. I'd be willing to do the NMD OG Prime Knit all white size 13 up for trade. The tri color NMD black Prime Knits up for trade. I have a size 13 uh, 350 copper. Oh crap. Well, you can see it. 350 copper up for trade. DS. Uh, let's see. Air Jordan 3. Fire Reds, DS, up for trade. You know what they look like. And yeah, all those shoes I just mentioned are up for trade. If you're interested in any of those shoes, of course, not all of them will be for the pair of zebras. Because what I showed you in terms of value would probably get me like three pairs of zebras. So if you're interested, any kind of trade with all the shoes I just showed you, they're all dead stock. Um, hit me up. So I got a pickup in the mail. I just want to do this right quick. I've already opened up the box. The Jordan 1, uh, what they call the Goddess Shines, Chameleons, All Stars. Got these in. Uh, I think it was like last Friday. And uh, I wanted to see them. So I went ahead and cracked them open. Wanted to look at them. And these things, honestly, they're freaking sweet. And yes, these were limited sold out everywhere but it is so cool you can see the color change from green to purple as i move this like it's a constant color change the toe doesn't change as much it looks like but the back part it really it changes colors green and purple yeah, freaking awesome. But yeah, I'd say the material needs are pretty equal to the Black Toe Ones. One thing about these that I absolutely love are the lace tips. They are green and purple, which matches the shoe. <laughs> That's a nice touch, Jordan Brand. So if you didn't manage to pick these up on release day, prices on these aren't like outrageous. Like I'm seeing pairs for like 220, maybe as high as 250. But dope shoe, pick it up. But last night, I shot a video, uh, put in new uh, Rejuvenator Soul Shields, said again, Rejuvenator Soul Shields on my Pirate Black Yeezy 350s, and uh, I shot it for you. So, here it is. And here we go. I'm sitting here Sunday night, um, kind of bored, trying to think, what can I do? And I remembered that the last time I wore my Yeezy 350 Pirate Blacks, that they were kind of due for a, a Rejuvenator Soul Shields change. Um, so I went ahead, I went upstairs, grabbed my Pirate Blacks, brought them downstairs, and started to peel off the uh, Soul Shield protector on, on the shoe. And I peeled them off, then I started thinking, why am I not recording this? Because I've been asked, I don't know, many times about uh, sole shields and things to protect the soles of your shoes. So after I peeled them off, I realized this. I'm like, man, I should stop before I actually do this whole process. So 
you guys might be interested in. But these shoes are, are the version twos that came out February of 2016. And I've worn these things probably 30, 40 times in the past year. And I've always had sole shields on these by Rejuvenator since the first day. Let me show you, I won't show you the soles of these first, but I'll show you these that I just pulled off of the shoe. I'm not sure if you can tell how dirty these things are, but this is after a year of use. As you can see, as you wear them, you know, you will start to wear holes through your uh, sole shields. Because through wear and tear, you know, you'll step on rocks and just items that will over time start break, breaking down this 3M. This one was really starting to come apart. As you can see, like there's a huge hole in this soul shield. But you gotta keep in mind, you know, this is after a year of use. So they held up pretty well for a little bit of damage here to it on the very back of it. These be on the same pair of shoes for a year. I'm saying I wore these things at least 30, 40 times in the past year. The uppers, of course, Yeezys, the uppers. They'll still they'll look brand new until the day that you finally throw them away in the trash because you know you wore a hole through the bottom. But I took off the sole shields on these things, and the bottoms of these are immaculate. Like this shoe right now, if I uh, relace these back to like the factory kind of lacing job, these would pass as dead stock to anybody who wanted them because like the the bottoms of these things are still crispy like there's not one imperfection on the bombies and they're in like ds condition still it's crazy so uh sole shields they honestly work they preserve shoes like this i don't put sole shields on all my shoes only on shoes like the 350 version ones because as you wear them the bottom of these shoes start looking horrible if you own this pair you know what i'm talking about especially the turtle dove pair the whole bottom like all the paint comes off the boo starts looking like a shade of piss the bottoms get torn up bad this is living proof that soul shields by rejuvenator work so i'm going to show you a little bit step by step what you got to do to put on new soul shields onto your highly coveted pair of kicks that you want to stay crispy ds looking condition here comes the money here we go money talks here comes the money as you can see inside of the soul shields packaging you will get two soul shields one for each shoe you just have to cut them to fit the shoe you're wanting to put them on you'll get some alcohol cleaning pads they also come with four kind of uh kind of like a i don't know traction pads you can put on the bottom of each of the soul protectors last time i did not use these this time i think i will but it'll just provide a little more grip because whenever you walk on surfaces that are pretty slick with the sole shields on it, it can be slick like don't don't wear shoes that you have these things on in any kind of weather conditions rain snow because you will you will fall on your ass that's for sure but these actually would help with that I'm going to put these things on this time. These uh, kind of like traction pads. They kind of look like little pieces of sandpaper. Provide a little more, little more traction. You can hear it. So all you got to do, get a Sharpie out. Get your shoe. Put it on to the sole shield. Line it up how you want it. Sole shields, it says it fits up to a size 13. And I do agree. 13 pretty much would be about the largest size you can fit on this thing i like to leave a little bit of extra overage on each side of the shoe so you're able to you know fold it up onto the sides of the shoe so once you line it up to how you like it kind of just do like a preliminary test to see where it will wrap to yeah see i like that the back here will go up just a little bit looks perfect and now draw the outline of where you want this to go
That's all you got to do. So once you get the outline done with the Sharpie, as you can see, points of where to cut this thing at. Get a good sharp pair of scissors because this 3M is actually, you know, it's pretty tough material. Like it's made to be tough. Good scissors. Once you're done doing that, um, you've got what's left of it. As always, take your time whenever you cut because you don't want to screw it up and uh, you know cut it wrong because you will have to redo it. So let's see, let's grab the correct shoe. This shoe just peels off pretty easily. Peels off. Remove the backing. Too easy. Lay this down on a flat surface like I have a table here. Place your shoe where you want it onto the sole shield and the first time you kind of miss where you want to put it not a big deal these things are removed pretty easily before you apply heat you can move it around a little bit kind of put it where you want it to go sometimes you can mess with this part for a couple minutes because every time you look at it you're like ah, maybe a little bit better maybe a little bit more this way a little more that way but it's all said and done. It's like, yeah, don't waste too much time trying to get absolutely perfect because that's pretty much impossible. As you'll probably see me do this thing three or four times until I get it where I want. Actually, that looks really good. If you can see it, I kind of put it so it's even on all sides, the front and the back, so it'll roll up to where I want it to go. Pretty much, that was spot on. Then just do a light press. Get to adhere to the bottom of the shoe. And, uh, you know, at this point, I mean, technically you could just call it quits and just hope that it sticks and it stays there. But uh, 3M material was actually made for heat, or it was made to ad adhere with heat. Um, you can use like a uh, blow dryer, but they don't really give off enough heat. Like, I've got a, what's this brand called? Doris heat gun but this works perfect for these so let me show you easily how to get this thing to adhere very nicely to your shoes oh yeah and let the heat gun warm up for about 30 seconds or so to get that optimal kind of heat you do the initial heating on it this thing will be very hot so always just get something just to help push everything down to adhere to the surface of the bottom of the shoe I mean you can't always man up and just use your actual hand and do it but uh, the bottom of your shoe can get very freaking hot and as always whenever you're applying heat to uh, your sole shields do not leave your heat gun in like one spot just like this for a long time and it will melt the bottom of the shoe so you just gotta just you know go over the shoe slowly and uh, just make sure you hit all the spots of it but you know don't just hold it down to one spot just because you will melt through the sole shields and plastic soles will begin to melt so once you get your initial heat done get everything pushed down you can see it's now adhered to the bottom of the shoe. I always like going over the shoe one more time just to make sure uh, it's all adhered to the bottom of the shoe the way that I like it. So that's just me. So I always like to go over it one more time. And that should be good the shoe now should be prepped and ready with all parts of it um, adhered down to the shoe sole shield should be good yeah so once you're done I mean this is on there it's it's on there really really well like it's not coming off 
Like it, you, you can't just walk up to it and just go like this. It won't come off. It's stuck to the shoe. But they're very easy to actually remove. I won't do this because I actually had to, you know, I had to buy these things, the uh, sole shields. But it's very easy to remove. You just got to find a corner, get a finger underneath of it or something, and just start pulling up. It'll come off, and they do not damage the bottom of your shoe does not damage comes off easily and once the sole protector comes off your sole will look like the day it came out of the factory before and then after so these uh dz 350 pirate blacks are probably good for the next year of wears and uh, i think it's a decent investment to pay 20 bucks for a pair of uh, sole shields to protect your shoes so if you're the kind of person that maybe down the line a year or two you might want to sell these shoes when you when you do a person's going to buy them and they're going to say did you ever wear these things these things look ds and uh yeah good to go so hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you kind of saw how to uh, put sole shields onto your shoes to protect the, the the bottoms any questions comment below hit me up on twitter hit me up on email i'll answer them and uh have a good one. Run.